What's going on guys? This is Andy with Duncan Mill Bookstore. I'm here with Quincy behind the computer. I'm here with also with Lyndon, our social media guy uh, that normally works on uh, from at home and on the weekends. Uh, Tiffany is up at the store closing up with Anthony and everybody else has left for the day. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you've had a good week. We've had a lot of fun around here. Uh, I will tell you this, I do not have anything to where I can see the comments at the moment, so Quincy is going to be uh, translating until he gets our uh, uh, device working where I can see it, or he destroys it and goes, goes and gets another one. Uh, so, I didn't, didn't get to see you guys last week, we were, um, at, well I wasn't feeling great, I haven't been feeling great the last two or three weeks. I uh, also did not, it was a busy week last week, we did not get everything prepped, but to, we have no problem uh, putting on a show for you tonight. Uh, we will go until probably at least 8.30, we may go as long as 9 o'clock. We have three rounds of slabs, we did a preview on the first round, but we ended up getting some more um, later in the afternoon, and we did not do a preview, did not get to do a preview on it. Uh, so you want to stick around for those, uh, the first, <laughs> he quits his over shaking his head. First round of slabs will go up here in just a minute. The next round will go up somewhere around 730, uh, seven, between 730 and 745. The third round will go up sometime after eight o'clock. Uh, we have plenty of, uh, night, really good issues that are going to be in between, uh, a bunch of raw stuff. Uh, what we've been doing around the office is we've, we've been doing two things. One, we have a cleanup project going. I am trying to clear out one of the rooms that are in the back. I uh, haven't seen a lot of stuff that is in this room in quite a while. Uh, we've gone through about half of it. I've pulled a ton of stuff uh, to price and also put in $5 and $2 boxes for the store. Uh, you will So a lot of what you're going to see tonight came out of that room and a lot of what you saw on Tiffany's show on Monday came out of that room. Uh, we've also been getting ready for uh, the Fan X or no, the Retro Expo show. I, they get their names mixed up. Uh, the Retro Expo show is the first one that we will be in. We will be up in there in two or three weeks. Uh, that is in Allen. It is a comic and toy and pop uh, extravaganza. Uh, we will have a little bit of all of that. We will be right there in front of the door like we normally are. Uh, there is a great, um, hey, what's up, Jim? Uh, there is a great uh, guest list. They have the Turtles there. I know Dan's excited about going up and seeing the Turtles. Uh, I think there's a Simpsons guest. There is a Chips reunion, if, for those that remember Chips, uh, and quite a bit of other stuff. Uh, if you get a chance, come up and see us. We will be up there Saturday and uh, Sunday. And we will have, uh, and yeah, see, that is Lyndon. Y'all are getting to see Lyndon. <laughs> <laughs> he is taking some shots for the um, uh, promotion that we're doing on uh, Instagram and whatnot. Uh, we're also going to be going down to Houston the first or second week of uh, October to the Bedrock City Comic Con down there. Uh, we're going to go down and see our friends uh michael and richard down there they own my or richard owns the bedrock city comic con or bedrock city um uh, shops down there i think there's six of them down there mike is the general manager it's been a while since we've seen them it's gonna be fun to hang out down there uh and see the houston crowd it's been a while since we've been down there and then we're also going to do uh later in the month of october uh we are going to be at the irving convention center for the retro no, that's the Fan yeah, Expo. Yeah, I talked to the name mixed up. Be at the Fan Expo show uh, for that one. Uh, they announced the first guest, uh, the actor that played Vision. Uh, we've heard that they're going to have a couple of more major guests uh, that they're going to announce. So that's always a good show. So that's how we're going to end up uh, finishing out the year convention-wise. Uh, so we've been getting ready for that. And as we get ready for stuff, I think Quincy might have my uh, laptop ready. Tablet ready. Hopefully he does, because I've been stalling. Um, as we're getting ready for those shows, we are pulling more stuff out of the warehouse and stuff like that. And whenever we go out there digging, 
Uh, we always find some really cool stuff. Chris Fulton and I went out there on Tuesday, uh, found some really cool uh, gaming stuff. Uh, Tiffany and I went out there, I think, uh, last Friday, ended up finding some lunch kits <clears throat> that I'm keeping. All right, let's see if this works. And just like that, it went away. I'm not kidding. So, we're going to be doing this all night. <laughs> Literally, I, I touched it and it went away. So, all right, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and get started. Quincy will be there to uh, let me know what the comments are. Uh, we are going to do uh, slabs up first. Uh, everything will go up on the cover cam tonight. We will um, put the slabs up on the cover cam. If you see something that is on the cover cam that you're interested in, please type the word claim and uh, the title of the book. Once it is off the cover cam, the slabs will go on the wall behind me. W1 through W12, once it goes to the wall or goes to the racks in front of us, please use the claim and then uh, the corresponding letter and number that goes with the item that you're wanting. It's easier for me to know wh where the numbers are instead of what the title is. Y'all can see the covers I can't. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. You guys have any questions? It, just because I can't see comments yet, Quincy and Lyndon can, they will let me know. If you have any questions, I will answer anything that I can. All right, first up is Amazing Spider-Man at number 252. This is the first appearance of the black costume. Uh, it is uh, CGC graded 9.4 with off-white to white pages. It's also a newsstand copy, and it has a uh, one of the limited edition Spider-Man labels. And we have it for 300. Remember, anything that we put up on the shows, uh, the price has already been reduced. Once it is uh, on the live show, it will go into an album. Now the slabs will go straight to eBay. Uh, they will go through an album, and then after the album, it will go to either the store or it'll go into convention stock and the price will be higher. We've already discounted everything that we're putting up tonight. Uh, next one up is Amazing Spider-Man at number 361, the first full appearance of Carnage. This is a newsstand copy as well. CGC graded 9-4, white pages, blue label, and we've got it for 150 All of these came from a batch of slabs that we did, that we picked up earlier in the week. Next one is Avengers number 62, the first appearance of Man Ape. It is CGC graded 8.5 off-white pages, blue label, and we have it for 200. Next one is Avengers number 87, The Origin of Black Panther. CGC graded 9-4, off-white pages, blue label, and we have this one for 600. Next one from 2022, this is Avengers number 56. It is one of the negative space variant covers. It is the Christopher variant cover B. Scarlet Witch is in a different costume than A and C. Uh, it is CGC graded 9-8 white pages, blue label, and we have it for 100. We 
Get on comment on everything? Yeah, we're good. Got Batman 608. This is part one for Hush, the Hush storyline by Jeff Loeb and Jim Lee. This is the first print cover. CGC graded 9.8 with white pages and it's a blue label and we have it for 125. Next one is a Batman at number 655. First cameo appearance of Damian Wayne. It is the cover A, first print, and it is CGC graded 96, white pages, blue label, and we have it for a hundred. We do have a couple of copies of that book raw that will come up later in the evening. But that's a graded 96 for a hundred. Next one up is Maniac of New York, number one, CGC graded 9.8 white pages. This is the first print cover A. It's got a blue label on it, and we have it for 40. Mark Townsend and Michael Stewart, say hello. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for joining us. Don't worry, Mark. We will get to the raw books here in just a bit. Tiffy loves those negative space variants. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> All right, next one up is Marvel Spotlight number 32. First appearance of a Spider Woman. That's the Jessica Drew Spider Woman. CGC graded 80 with off white to white pages. It's a blue label, and we have it for 125. Quincy is over here nursing the tablet. <laughs> All right, next one up is Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number one. This is from the 1984 series. It is CGC graded 9.8 white pages, blue label, and we've got it for 275. I forgot to mention a minute ago, Quincy did upload the link for the $5 albums. If you guys are interested in uh, some cheaper books, we have those on an album. Uh, follow the link to the album and there should be 150 or more uh, $5 books that got posted about 6 o'clock. Remember, we do invoices. This is the beginning of the new uh, round of invoices. Uh, invoices go out on Wednesdays, so anything that you claim tonight or through any of the albums throughout the next week will uh, be combined all on one invoice, and those will be sent to you on uh, at some point on Wednesday. Dan usually gets them out Wednesday afternoon. Next one up is Marvel Super Hero Secret Wars at number 8, Origin of the Alien Symbiote that eventually becomes Venom. It is CGC graded 9.8, white pages, a blue label, and we have it for 600. is telling the truth all right what's up Michael what's up Mark what's up mom I think Renee popped on there too Dan with the turtles Bo Bo's getting ready to go see Danzig tomorrow sweet all right I do not have video but I've got another monitor for that so 
It might be all right for right now. I'd, I'd hang out for a minute. Okay. See what happens, because I'm sure I'll pump this thing. All right, next one up in the last slab for right now is New Teen Titans number two. This is the first appearance of Deathstroke the Terminator. Uh, it is also signed by George Perez. It was signed in 2015. It is CGC Signature Series, which means it has a yellow label. It is a 9-4 white pages, and we have it for $325. we will now do uh we'll go to some live books or some raw books and we will do another round of slabs somewhere around 745 so we got about 30 minutes of these and uh then we will switch over and do some more more or another round of slabs for you i promise you guys now most of these were put through uh a preview the ones that were not that we got later in the day that were not on a preview i promise you you guys will enjoy them especially quincy <laughs> all right first raw book up is fantastic Four 150 featuring ultron it is a four or five copy and we have it for 12. all right you got a 9-0 copy of amazing spider-man 322 Featuring a Todd McFarlane art. We have it for 10. Next one is an 8 0 copy of Batman at number 387. Featuring an appearance by Black Mask. Got it for 12. Got a 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man, the 321, with McFarlane art for 10. Got a 9-4 newsstand copy of Doctor Strange at number 59 for $10. Javier wants A3, which is Batman at number 387 for 12. Got that for you. Get your name on it. All right. Javier wants Batman 387 for 12. Thank you, sir. Got a 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 303 with Todd McFarlane art featuring a Sandman for 15. Got a 9-0 copy of Batman at number 406. Part three for year one, the Frank Miller storyline for 15. That's what the Christopher Nolan film is. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you got a 9 2 copy of Amazing Spider Man 307. It's a newsstand copy. Featuring the chameleon drawn by Todd McFarlane for 20. Got 
Got a 9-2 copy of Crisis on Infinite Earths, number 4, Death of the Monitor, for 12. Got a 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 323, featuring Captain America, drawn by McFarlane, for 12. I don't know how mad Tiffany's going to get by me telling, uh, giving you a hint, but you might want to keep an eye on the website this weekend. I think she's got something brewing. Got a 9-0 copy of X-Men at number 167 for 10. I know they uploaded uh, about 133 or 135 uh, new variants or things on the on the website today. <laughs> What's up, Bo? Got a 9-2 newsstand copy of Amazing Spider-Man 308 featuring <clears throat> Todd McFarlane art for 20. Most of the McFarlane run is in this batch between what Tiffany put up on uh, um, yes, that's Lyndon's hand that you can see there. <laughs> Tiffany put some up, and then we've got some. Uh, we're putting up the rest of it tonight. Got a 7-5 copy of Superman at number 423, part of the Alan Moore Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow for 10. I believe that's part one. Action Comics has part two. Got a 6-5 copy of Forever People number 8 by Jack Kirby for 12. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Fulton? Chris is down at San Japan. Setting up. He has a big setup down there. San Japan's one of his best shows of the year. Hopefully he knocks it out of the park. Got a 7-0 copy of Power Man and Iron Fist number 50 for 20. Hi, Candace and Margarita. Got a 7-5 copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 10, for 15. All right, Mark wants B, number 2. Forever People, number 8, for 12. Thank you, Mark. All right, Forever People, number eight for $12 for Mark. Thank you, sir. All right, next up is a 3-5 copy of Fantastic Four, number 120 for 25. First appearance of Airwalker. <laughs> you probably don't. Trying to look out for you, Candace. Got a 9 0 newsstand copy of Deadpool and number two. This is the second mini series. And it's also a newsstand copy featuring Deadpool versus Juggernaut for 10.
Got an 8.5 newsstand copy of ROM number 18 uh, featuring the X-Men for 10. I think there's some more in here, Mark. Keep an eye out for them. Got an 8.5 newsstand copy of Amazing Spider-Man 305 with McFarlane art with a very suspicious looking spawn looking character in the background. Got it for 12. James would like B6. That's the Deadpool number two for James. Thank you, sir. We will have some better books, more expensive raw books coming up in just a bit. Always like to do one run of uh, some of the cheaper issues before we get to the more expensive stuff. All right, you got a 7-0 copy of Tomb of Dracula, number 58, featuring Blade for 25. Got a 7-5 copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, at number 51, for 10. Got an 8-0 copy of Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 21, The Wedding of Peter Parker and Mary Jane. This is the direct edition where everybody is uh, out of costume and we have it for 25. The newsstand copy has them in costume. Mr. Fulton wants Tomb of Dracula number 58. Mr. Fulton's hitting the margaritas too. <laughs> He's a whiskey man. If she's drinking a margarita, Chris probably got shot crown on the way. All right, Chris Fulton would like Tomb of Dracula number 58 for 25. Thank you, sir. Got a 7-0 copy of Frankenstein and number 14 for 12. Got a 9-0 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 306 with an Action Comics 1 homage done by McFarlane for 25. Got a 6-5 copy of Daredevil number 90 featuring a Black Widow appearance for 12. I think by then she was co-starring in the book. I think she started that in 81. Yes. Frank Miller started in 158. Got a 9-0 copy of Amazing Spider-Man at 328. Spider-Man punching the Hulk in a bad spot for 20. Got an 8-5 copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at number 32 for 12.
Got an 8 0 copy of Uncanny X Men number 213, Wolverine versus Sabretooth for 15. Classic 80s issue right there. Got a 7-5 copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 162 featuring a Punisher and Nightcrawler appearance. It's also the first appearance of Jigsaw. We have it for 40. Damn, you're good. You'll know it if it messes up. <laughs> Quincy is going back to the other side of the office. Aunt Linden is switching places. <laughs> All right, you got a 7-5 copy of Punisher number one. This is part of the 1987 uh, ongoing series, and we have it for 20. All right, Javier wants C5. We are once X Men number 213 for 15. Excellent choice, sir. All right, X Men number 213 for 15. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> they are. If you guys are coming to Retro Expo in a couple of weeks, you will see Quincy and Lyndon. They will both be there. Hopefully. You are coming, right? Yeah, yeah, the weekends. I should be there. Okay. And then all the help we can get. You'll also see Chris Fulton there. Tiffany's going to work that show. Dan will be in and around. Got a 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 312 featuring the Green Goblin and the Hobgoblin fight for 30. If you do get to make it out to the show, I would recommend a pizza place that is across the street. And we will probably be get, bringing in pizza for both Saturday and Sunday. What's it called? I can't remember what it is, but it's right, right across the street. Hopefully, uh, maybe Holt will remember. Got a 9-2 copy of Batman number 407, which is Batman Year One Part 4 for 20. There's a 7 0 copy of Amazing Spider Man at number 178, Spider Man vs. Green Goblin for 12. Uh -huh, Tiffany, there you go. That's why she gets paid the big money. She remembers where the pizza joints are. <laughs> you got a 6-0 copy of Forever People number 6 for 10. Got a 7-0 copy of Power Man at number 48 featuring the first team up of Power Man and Iron Fist for 25. Got an 8-0 copy of Giant Size Dracula, number 3 for 20. Alright, we'll do last call for the top row. Got a 4-5 copy of Fantastic Four 150 for 12. 
9-0 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 322 for 10. 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 321 for 10. 9-4 copy of Doctor Strange 59 for 10. 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 303 for 15. 9-0 copy of Batman 406 for 15. 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 307 for 20. 9-2 copy of Crisis on Infinite Earths number 4 for 12. 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 323 for 12. 9-0 copy of X-Men 167 for 10. And a 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 308 for 20. Alright, one more. We'll mix in some better books. Alright, just a reminder for anybody that joins late, you're more than welcome to go back and uh, let us know that you're interested in something. I'll put it back up on the cover cam uh, so you can take a closer look at it and you can claim uh, anything all through the show. Anything that makes it all the way through the show or that and or that I don't get to uh, in tonight's show, we will put in an album that should post sometime around 3 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, and then you will have one week to be able to claim uh, any of that. We leave our, our albums up for a week. Uh, and like I said, you can mix and match and go through any of the albums, uh, whether it's a new Comic Book Day album, if they're still up, or, or a variant album, a $2 or a $5 album, or uh, one an album that had been on the show. And we put it all on one invoice. That way you can combine your shipping. All right, next up is a 7-5 copy of Super Mario Brothers number one. This is from Valiant. I will say that there is, this is a cardstock cover, and there is a, a very light crease down the right side. Uh, and then there's also a couple of dings on the spine. That's why I'm calling it a 7-5. You may not notice it on the cam, but we've got it for 75. Early Mario appearance in comics. Hey, what's up, Katie? How are you doing, ma'am? How are the pups? Got a 7-5 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 196 for 12. Got a 6-0 newsstand copy of Marvel Team Up number 141 featuring Spider-Man and Daredevil. It's an early appearance of the black costume for Spider-Man, and we have it for 30. This is a 6-0 copy. We do have a higher grade copy coming up in just a bit. That's a bunch of work, but I'm sure you're piling up the cash. Got to come up and spend some of it at a convention. Come see us. Got a 9-0 copy of Crisis on Infinite Earths number one. This is the first DC Blue Beetle. We have it for 20. I think the various Blue Beetles show up in the Blue Beetle movie. Uh, the past Blue Beetles. Ted Cord and whatnot. I think they make cameos in the movie. I think. I think it's their costumes towards the end, I think. Is it? It's like a pan of like the Iron Man shot with the different costumes. Yeah. Still cool. Got a 9-0 first print copy of Amazing Spider-Man 611. Uh, this is the Spider-Man Deadpool issue uh, with a Scotty Young cover for 25. Got a 7-0 newsstand copy of Amazing Spider-Man 315 featuring a Venom appearance for 15. Part of the Todd McFarlane run. 316 and 317 were not in there, by the way. Or at least I have not found them yet. All right, 
You got an 8 0 copy of White Widow number 5. This is the Dragon Con metal variant. Uh, it is an 8 0 copy because it does have a scratch on it. Uh, and that's why it is 30. I believe when those came out, they always had a retail of 100 on those metal covers. All right, you got an 8-5 copy of Amazing Spider-Man at 258. The issue where he changes back to the red and blue costume for 25. I think he changes at the end. All right, Javier wants A number seven. Amazing Spider-Man 315 for 15. Once I finish the top row, I will go back and I will do another round of slabs for you guys. All right, Amazing Spider-Man 315 for 15 for Javier. Thank you, sir. Got a 9 0 copy of New X Men at number 128. First appearance of Phantom X. Also has a Ben Skyver cover for 25. Got an 8 0 copy of Frankenstein at number 15 for $15. Got a 9-0 copy of Wolverine Battles the Incredible Hulk. This reprints Hulk 180 and 181. It's a 9-0 copy and we have it for 10. Cheapest way to read that story. and put that down here and we'll do last call for the slabs up top all right you got new teen titans number two that is signed by george perez first death stroke cgc graded nine four uh for 325 you've got a marvel superhero secret wars number eight origin of the black costume cgc nine eight for 600 marvel superhero secret wars number one CGC graded 9.8 for 275. Marvel Spotlight number 32 for Jessica Drew Spider Woman. CGC graded 8.0 for 125. Maniac of New York number one. This is the first print cover A. CGC graded 9.8 for 40. And Batman 655 for cameo for Damian Wayne. CGC graded 9.6 for 100. All right, you got Batman 608, this uh, Hush Part 1, first print, CGC 98 for 125. Avengers 56, the negative space variant, this is the cover B variant, CGC graded 98 for 100. Avengers number 87, CGC graded 94, the origin of Black Panther for 600. Avengers 62, the first appearance of Man Ape, CGC graded 85 for 200. Amazing Spider-Man 361, first full appearance of Carnage, CGC graded 9.4 for 150. And Amazing Spider-Man 252, New Stand Edition, uh, first appearance of the black costume, CGC graded 9.4 for 300. All right, 
Mark wants A number 12. Get that for you, Mark. All right, Mark wants Wolverine Battles the Incredible Hulk reprint for $10 for Mark. Thank you, sir. All right, round two for slabs. All right, you got a redneck number one. This is the Donnie Cates story. This is the gold foil edition where the logo is in gold. You got a CGC graded 9.6 white pages, blue label, and we have it for 75. All right, you got a X-Men at number 125, first appearance of Mutant X. Uh, it is also a newsstand edition. It is CGC graded at 9.6, white pages, blue label, and we have it for 200. Part of the classic Burn Claremont run. All right, next one is Young Avengers at number one. This is the Director's Cut Edition. It is CGC graded 9.8 blue label, uh, white pages, and we have it for 200. This is the Director's Cut. Next one is Young Avengers number one. This is the Wizard World Los Angeles sketch variant. It is CGC graded 9.4 white pages blue label and we have it for 200. Lots of first appearances in those books. All right, so that batch, um, that was the batch that we picked up on Tuesday uh, from a buddy of ours that, that goes and does shows. He is going down to GalaxyCon uh, down in Austin, I believe, this weekend. Uh, and he brought, brought us by a, a batch of books. Uh, that we got from him, and that's that's what he had on that. This next batch is a deal that we've been working on for a couple of weeks. Uh, we didn't think we were going to get it. Uh, it turns out uh, he finally accepted our offer, and uh, we are super glad to get these books. There's a, there's some books in here, especially towards that's going to be in the third batch that we're going to put up that are super hard to find. Uh, so these these are pretty cool. These are some books that we don't uh, get to see very often. So all right, first one of that batch is Adventures of Superman, uh, John Kent number one. This is the Big Time Collectibles Red Foil Edition. Uh, Big Time Collectibles are here in the DFW area. They go to a lot of the major shows. Uh, over the last six months, they've been doing a lot of foil covers. So this is one of the red foil editions. It is CGC graded 9-8 white pages blue label and we have it for 75. And there's a reason Quincy is crying. <laughs> there's a book that Quincy wants. I think he left the room. Oh, he wrapped it. <laughs> he can find his way back. Next up is Crisis on Infinite Earths number one, the first appearance of the DC Blue Beetle. Uh, CGC graded 9.6, white pages, blue label, and we have it for 75. I 
Uh, uh, he's not crying about that one, Jim, but he will be crying if they uh, if they decide to trade uh, Bosa. He and I were talking about that last night. All right, the next one is Return of Wolverine number one. This is the Glow in the Dark edition done by J. Scott Campbell. It was manufactured uh, 1,351 out of 2,000. It is CGC graded 9.6 white pages, blue label, and we have it for 175. Again, this is a J. Scott Campbell cover that glows in the dark. Next up is a nine CGC 9.6 copy of Ultimate Spider-Man number one. This is the Target variant. It is actually has the cover of Ultimate Spider-Man 14 on it. The issue itself reprints Ultimate Spider-Man 14 and 15, but it is labeled as an Ultimate Spider-Man number one. You can only get these at Target. It is CGC graded, 9.6, white pages, blue label, and we have it for $150. They did on that one. I think they've, they've got a couple of more. That had a KB Toys. Had a couple of different free comic book day versions. It's got the Target version. It's got a Niagara Falls version. All right, next one is World War Hulk number one. This is the Aspen Comics edition that was done by Michael Turner. It is CGC graded 9.8 white pages, blue label. We've got it for 275. Next one is World War Hulk number one. This is the David Finch cover A. CGC graded 9.8 white pages, blue label, and we have it for 85. Got World War Hulk number five, first full appearance of Scar. This is the variant cover done by John Romita Jr. CGC graded 9.6 white pages, blue label, and we have it for 75. What's going on, Alex? You go, Quincy. <laughs> From 2022, Amazing Spider-Man at number one. This is the Hustle Sketch Edition featuring Eminem. And if you'll notice, right in the middle, Miles Morales is on the front row. Just in case Quincy missed it. <laughs> <laughs> you got, it is CGC graded 9-8 white pages, blue label. And according to Quincy, it is hard to get. Uh, he missed out on it when they first came out. Uh, and we have it for seven fifty. This is the sketch M and M version. I remember. All right, we'll leave that set up there for a minute, so Quincy can cry a little bit. Because that's what we do. We torture each other. Emotional damage. <laughs> All right. I'll 
sleep it up there while I take the second row. All right, we will do last call for the second row. Got a 7-5 copy of Superman 423 for 10. 7 0 copy of Power Man and Iron Fist 50 for 20. 7 5 copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 10 for 15. Got a 3 5 copy of Fantastic Four 120 for 25. Got an 8 5 copy of Rum number 18 for 10. Got an 8 5 copy of Amazing Spider Man 305 for 12. Got a 7 5 copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51 for 10. 8-0 copy of Amazing Spider-Man Annual 21 for 25. And a 7-0 copy of Frankenstein number 14 for 12. Alright. Next up is an 8-0 newsstand copy of Spawn at number 77. This is Spawn at, with Angel Wings. We've got it for 60. It is a newsstand. That's what drives the price up on that one. Got a 9-4 copy. Got a 9-4 copy of the... Hanahan Comics exclusive variant for Vampirella Trail, Trial of the Soul number one. This is the Virgin variant. We have it for 20. And an 8.5 copy of Action Comics 835 featuring the first appearance of Livewire in the DCU for 15. She showed up in Superman Adventures first in the cartoon. Much like Harley Quinn. All right, you got an 8-5 copy of Batman, the number 655, first cameo appearance of Damian Wayne. We have it for 35. We had the high grade slab to book earlier. I think we have another one that's in between the two. Alright, you got a 7-5 newsstand copy of the first appearance of the Dark Phoenix in X-Men 134 for 80. And yes, I found that in a box in the office. It's amazing what you can find when you start digging through boxes around. <laughs> Got a 6-5 copy of Rocket Raccoon number 1 featuring a Magnola cover for 25. I'm about to get in trouble. Yeah, I said that on purpose. <laughs> Got a 9-2 copy of the 1 in 10 variant for La Murta Retribution number 2. This is the black and white sketch cover for 12. A 7-5 copy of Batman 656, first full appearance of Damian Wayne for 25. I'm 
Tiffany would like the Rocket Raccoon at number one. All right, everybody say goodbye to Lyndon. Sweet. All right, man, have a good one. Yes, sir. All right, Tiffany wants Rocket Raccoon at number one for 25. Thank you, Tiffany. Got a 9-0 copy of Spawn at number 131 for 35. Got an 8-0 newsstand copy of Thor number 337, first appearance of Beta Ray Bill for 75. Andy, I will testify right now. Tiffany Fox did. All right. The next one is a 9-4 copy of the Fan Expo foil variant done by Del Otto for Batman number one. This is the 1940 Batman number one reprint with a Del Otto cover. It is foil and it is gorgeous uh, in hand. And we've got it for 40. We got a 9-4 copy of the Do You Poo variant uh, for three, not saying that out loud, <clears throat> the Do, Do You Poo variant for 30. It is a homage to the Batman 3 Jokers. I think that's one of four variants that they did for that one. I think we have a couple more. Got an 8-0 copy of Wolverine at number 10. First Wolverine versus Sabretooth Battle for 25. All right, well, the last call for the bottom row. Got Amazing Spider-Man at 306, a 9-0 cover for 25. Got a 6-5 copy of Daredevil 90 for 12. Got a 9-0 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 328 for 20. Got an 8-5 copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 32 for 12. Got a 7-5 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 162 for 40. 7-5 copy for Punisher number 1, the ongoing series for 20. 9-2 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 312 for 30. 9-2 copy of Batman 407 for 20. 7 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 178 for 12. Got a 6 copy of Forever People number 6 for 10. And a 7 copy of Power Man number 48 for 25. Alright, you got an 8 copy of Tales of... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 64, for 40. These have low print runs on these later issues. All right. For anybody watching Ahsoka... You got an 8-0 copy of Star Wars Heir to the Empire, number one, the first appearance of Thrawn for 80. 
first Thrawn in comics. Got a 9-4 copy of the 1 in 10 variant for Spawn at number 200 with a Capullo cover for 50. Got a 9-4 copy of the Dragon Con exclusive for White Widow number 5 for 15. Uh, it is not. He's not green, he's blue. He's a come. We got a 7-5 first print copy of Batman at number one from the New 52. This is by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. It is a first print and we have it for 25. It is a 7-5, remember that. Got an 8-0 copy of Marvel Team-Up number 14, Spider-Man Meets Invincible for 60. Got an 8-0 newsstand copy of Marvel Team-Up number 141, early appearance of Spider-Man's black costume for 50. Got a 6-0 copy earlier, this is an 8-0. Uh, I like it. Alright, you got a 9-2 copy of Grim Fairy Tales number 67. This is a one, one of 200 uh, limited edition variant cover done by Eboss, and we have it for 30. I'll take the price sticker off that way you can see the full image because I know everybody was wanting to see your face. Alright, you got a 9 of 4 copy of Batman Harley Quinn one shot. It is the Fan Expo foil variant done by Alex Ross. There again, it's gorgeous in person. And we have it for 40. This is the foil variant. Got a seven O copy of Star Wars Jedi versus Sith. Number three, the first cover appearance of Darth Bane for 30. All 
right, you got a 9 of 4 sealed copy of Superman at number 75. This is the Black Bag Death of Superman issue, and it is still sealed, never been opened. The bag's actually in pretty good shape. We have it for 25. They had a lot of production errors on that one. Got a 7.5 copy of Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 65 for 25. All right, well, the last call for the top row. Got an 8.0 copy of Giant Size of Dracula, number 3 for 20. Got a 7.5 copy of... Super Mario Brothers number one for 75. A 75 copy of Amazing Spider Man 196 for 12. 6 0 newsstand copy of Marvel Team Up 141 for 30. 9 0 copy of Crisis on Infinite Earths number one for 20. 9 0 copy of Amazing Spider Man 611 for 25. 8 0 copy of the Metal Variant for White Widow number five for 30. 8-5 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 258 for 25. 9-0 copy of New X-Men 128 for 25. And an 8-0 copy of Frankenstein number 15 for 15. Alright, you got a 9-0 copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Yusaji Ujimbu one shot. This is cover B. We've got it for 12. Once I get done with the top row, we will change out the slabs one more time for tonight. Got a 7-0 copy of Shazam number one from DC for 35. You got a 9-4 second print copy of Cayman America Volume 1, Stars and Stripes. It is the foil cover. We have it for 40. Got a 9-0 copy, the first full appearance of Silk in Amazing Spider-Man at number four. We have it graded at a 9-0 because there is no digital code. The, uh, the sticker has been taken off and the digital code has been used, uh, which knocks it down to a 9-0. And we've got it for 75. First full Silk, no digital code. From 2017, you got a 9-2 copy of Star Wars Darth Vader number 3. First appearance of Crap Infla. I'm sure I've said that wrong, but it is $30 for that book. Got a 9-4 copy of the 1 in 25 variant for Dark Knight's Death Metal, The Secret Origin uh, one shot for 10, the 1 in 25 variant.
Got a 9 to 4 copy of Spider Verse number 1. This is cover A for 15. Sure, Quincy has four of them. Got a 9-4 copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe number one. This is the 1 in 25 variant done by Eastman for 15. Got a 9-4 copy of the Scorpion Comics exclusive variant. Comes with a COA, I believe. It's number 269 out of 400. Uh, it is Cult of Dracula number 1. And we have it for 15. This is the trade dress. I think the Virgin variant comes up in a bit. Got a 9 4 lenticular cover for White Widow number 2 for 20. All right. Matthew wants B4 and B8. B4 and B8. Gotcha, sir. I'll be here. I see yours in just a second. All right, Matt Martinez wants Batman 655 for 35 and Batman 656 for 25. Thank you, sir. All right, Javier wants A9. Javier wants Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe number one, the one in 25, variant for 15. Thank you very much. All right, we've got a 9-2 copy of Star Wars Clone Wars number eight, featuring Asaz Ventress on the cover for 35. We will do last call on the slabs on the back wall. From 2022, you've got the Eminem variant for Amazing Spider-Man number one. This is the sketch variant. CGC graded at 9.8 for 7.50. Got the World War Hulk number five. This is the John Romita Jr. variant. CGC graded 9.6 white pages for 75. Got World War Hulk number one. This is the David Finch cover, first print. CGC graded 9.8 white pages for 85. World War Hulk number one. This is the Aspen variant by Michael Turner. CGC graded 9.8 white pages for 275. The Ultimate Spider Man number one target reprint. CGC graded 9.6 white pages for 150. And the Return of Wolverine at number one, Glow in the Dark Campbell cover. CGC graded 9.6 white pages for 175. You've got Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, number one, CGC graded 9.6 white pages for 75. Adventures of Superman John Kent number one, this is the red foil cover. 
CGC graded 98 white pages for 75. Young Avengers number one, the Wizard World LA variant for CGC graded 94 white pages for 200. The Young Avengers number one director's cut, CGC graded 98 white pages for 200. X Men at number 125, newsstand copy, CGC 96 white pages for 200. And the Redneck number one gold foil cover, CGC 96 white pages for 75. This is the last round of slabs. Uh, these were picked up today and priced out. And there's some cool ones in there. All right, first up, let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Get Clone Wars down here on the rack. All right, first one up is Avengers Assemble Omega number one. This is the Alex Ross Galactus cover. It is also signed by Alex Ross. CGC Signature Series, which means it has a yellow label. 9-8 uh, white pages with a special Alex Ross label. And we have it for $125. Next up is Darth Vader number three from 2015, the first appearance of Dr. Aphra, Triple Zero, and BT-1, the murder droids. CGC graded at 9-6, white pages, blue label, and we have it for 125. Alright, next up is Immortal Hulk number 37. This is the Alex Ross Timeless variant. It is also signed by Alex Ross. It is CGC Signature Series 9.6. White Pages has the Alex Ross special label. And we have it for 100. You got Incredible Hulk at number 340. This is the classic Todd McFarlane Hulk vs. Wolverine cover. It is CGC graded 9-4 white pages, blue label, and we have it for 250. Next is Kang the Conqueror number one. This is the Peach Momoka Stormbreakers cover. It is also signed by Peach Momoka. It is CGC Signature Series 9-8 White Pages Yellow Label and we have it for $150. you don't get to see often. Marvel Collectible Classics Spider-Man number one. This is the Chrome variant for Amazing Spider-Man 300. Uh, they actually did a Chrome variant that was uh, just like the original cover for 300 and Spider-Man number one. Uh, 
this and before they started doing recreations on the cover uh, <clears throat> they uh, this particular one is signed by Stan Lee and Todd McFarland uh, it is a verified signature because this one went through CBCS it is uh, CBCS graded 92 white pages verified signature for Stan Lee and Todd McFarland it is the old label. They are coming out with a new label, and from what I understand, they're going to be very cheap to uh, get them reholdered and relabeled. Uh, I'll be honest with you, if it doesn't sell within the next couple of weeks, I will get it reholdered with the new label. Uh, from what I understand, the CBCS new label looks really good. Uh, so this is the Spider-Man 300 Chrome double signed, and we've got it for $12.50. All right, next up is Spawn number one. It is uh, signed by Todd McFarlane. It is CGC Signature Series 9-6 White Pages. Todd signed it in 2022 uh, in white ink. And it has the Todd McFarlane label on it. And we have it for $325. It is very pretty, Alex. All right, next one up is Spider-Man number one from 1990. It is signed. This is the gold cover, so this is the gold second print. It is signed by Stan Lee and Todd McFarland, and it was signed in 2014 because Tiffany made a comment that the Stan Lee signature is actually legible. Uh... Stan Lee signed up by, in black ink, up by Spider-Man's head. Todd McFarland uh, signed in red ink down by his left hand. CGC Signature Series 9.6, white pages, yellow label, and we have it for $17.50. Next up is Spider-Man 2099 number one. This is the toy reprint. So it is the white cover. Uh, it was included with Toy Biz Spider-Man 2099 action figure. Uh, Indisha reads second printing. It is CGC graded 9-4 white pages blue label. We have it for 350. It is difficult to find those in good shape because getting them out of the package without tearing them up is not easy. All right, next one is Star Wars number one from 2015. This is the Alex Ross variant cover, and it is signed by Alex Ross. CGC Signature Series 9-8 white pages with the Alex Ross uh, special label, and we have it for $225. All right, next one is Ultimate Fallout number four, first appearance of Miles Morales. Uh, it is a first print. It is CGC graded 9.6, white pages, blue label. We've got it for 675. First, Miles Morales.
All right. The last one for tonight. Uh, it is a Wolverine at number 145. This is the Nabisco variant. It is CGC graded, 9.6, white pages, blue label, and we have it for 2000 Just to kind of give you some background on that book, I've been doing comic books, selling at shows for over 20 years. I've only ever owned two of them. Uh, it was extremely difficult. They were like small. <clears throat> um, I got you, Jim. I'll get you in just a second. Uh, it was a mail away. You had to mail away to Nabisco to get it. I don't remember how limited it is. It, it has to be extremely limited. <clears throat> the... Um, if you go on eBay right now in the last 90 days, the last one, uh, there has been one sale in the last uh, 90 days. And there is only one listed on eBay right now, and they're asking $4,000 for it. Uh, if that goes on to eBay, it will be probably quite a bit higher than that. But that is truly a difficult, we all talk about some stuff that's hard to find, but that one is truly a difficult book to find. All right, Jim Palmer wants the X-Men 125 slab. CGC 9.6 for 200. Stay a copy of Spawn 77 for 60. 9 4 Virgin variant for Vampirella Trial of the Soul number 1 for 20. Got an 8 5 copy of Action Comics 835 for 15. Got a 7 5 new stand copy of X Men 134 for 80. Got a 9 2 1 in 10 variant for La Marta Retribution number 2 for 12. Got a 90 copy of Spawn 131 for 35. 80 copy of Thor 337 for 75. 94 foil variant for Batman number one for 40. And a 94 copy of the Do You Poo variant for 30. Got an 8-0 copy of the Pastime Comics exclusive variant for White Widow number three, done by Carla Cohen. This is the Virgin variant, and we have it for 12. Pastimes is a local comic shop here in the DFW area. It's up there by Keller. If I remember right. Chris Hayes and his buddy owns it. That's That was one of the variants that they did. Uh, next one up is a 9-4 copy of Avengers Empire Aftermath number 1. This is the Alex Ross Thank You variant for 60. I believe this was about one per store. I don't think it was an incentive. I think it was sent out per store.
You got a 9-2 Hastings variant for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ghostbusters number two for 20. Yeah, Matthew, I, I I knew I have not been to their store. I've known Chris for years. Um, I, there's collected is up there, pastimes up there. Uh, I know there's at least one or two more that are in that area. Got a nine four copy of the Alex Ross Timeless variant for Shang Chi number two for twelve. Uh, they go on the invoice for the same week because it is before the invoice. So that show go that Monday will go on. Last Monday show that Tiffany, I think, I'm pretty sure Tiffany can can verify that, but I think it's on the same week. Tiffany's in the other room; she can hear me. She'll answer. <laughs> if not, I'll just keep yelling. You got a nine-two copy of Star Wars. Clone Wars number seven for 40. Got a nine to four copy of the Pocket Jacks exclusive variant for White Widow number four for 40. This is the Virgin variant. Got a 9-4 second print copy of Mark Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 44 for 10. Uh, Matthew, I did not, but I we have not sold that slab, so I can get that for you. Uh, Rob, I see yours. I'll get yours in just a second, sir. All right, I think that was in the first batch. That may have Matt. That may have been during the time. Um, we were having trouble getting uh, the comments to come up. All right, so Matt Martinez wants Marvel Spotlight number 32, CGC 80 for 125. Thank you, sir. We got you. All right, Rob is looking for Spider Verse number one. Let's see, is it on the. Spider-Verse number one for 15 for Rob. Thank you, Rob. All right. You got a 9-4 copy of the Comics Kingdom exclusive variant for Chimerian Frost Giant's Daughter number one for 30. It's the Virgin variant. Got a 9-0 copy of Silver Moon exclusive variant for White Widow number two. Virgin variant for 18. If you haven't guessed, Bo picked up a box uh, about a week ago of, of these store exclusives, and I just now got around to it. 
Got a 9-4 copy of Star Wars Clone Wars number 5 featuring an Ahsoka appearance for 20 Alright, you got a 9-2 copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 79. This is from the IDW series, and it is done by Eastman for 10. I keep saying Eastman in case they are watching. <laughs> he apparently is not watching. All right, you got a nine to four copy of Star Wars Clone Wars number four featuring Ahsoka for 30. You got a 5-0 copy of Fantasy Masterpiece number 4, reprint Silver Surfer number 4 for 10. All right, we will do last call for the bottom row. Got an 8-0 copy of Wolverine number 10 for 25. 8-0 copy of Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 64 for 40. Got an 8-0 copy of Star Wars Heir to the Empire number 1 for Thrawn for 80. Got a 9-4 copy of the 1 in 10 variant for Spawn 200 for 50. Got a 9-4 copy of the Dragon Con variant for White Widow number 5 for 15. 7-5 copy of the first print for Batman number 1 from 2011 for 25. 8-0 copy of Marvel Team Up number 14 for 60. 8-0 newsstand copy of Marvel Team Up 141 for 50. 9-2 copy of Grim Fairy Tales number 67 for 30. 9-4 copy of the full variant for Batman Harley Quinn one shot for 40. 7-0 copy of Star Wars Jedi vs. Sith number 3 for 30. And a 9-4 sealed copy of Superman 75 for 25. Got an 8-5 copy of Amazing Spider-Man 272 for 10. Got a 9-2 copy of X-Men at number 207 with a classic Wolverine cover for 12. Got an 8-0 copy of Amazing Spider-Man at 293. And Craven's Last Hunt, part number two for 15. Got a 9-2 copy of X-Men at number 183. A Juggernaut versus Colossus bar fight. For ten. Have you ever read that issue? Yeah. Wolverine, uh, Black Box. Black Box. I'm just sitting back. <laughs> drinking a beer. <laughs> Didn't help a bit. <laughs> All right. You got a 6-0 copy of the American Entertainment variant for X-Men at number 50. This is the Jim Lee series X-Men. For 10. It's a 6 0 copy, but that one's difficult to find. Unless you 
unless you're looking in a box in our office. office. You got a 9-4 copy of Wolverine Annual 99 featuring Wolverine versus Deadpool for 25. Got an 8-0 copy of Wolverine at number 55. This is the EC Homage cover by Greg Land for 10. Got an 8-5 copy of Child's Play 2, issue number 3 for 12. From Innovation. Got a 9-2 copy of Star Wars Clone Wars, number 12, for 15. If it's not the last issue, it's right towards the end. Got a 9-2 copy of Child's Play, number 3, for 28. You got an 8-0 copy of a uh, story exclusive that we could not figure out which story exclusive it was. So we're calling it the Virgin Variant for White Widow number 3 for 30. It's not on there anywhere. At least that I saw. All right, and the last one for tonight is a 9-2 copy of Child's Play number one, and we have it for 12. All right, guys, and that is going to do it for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed what we put up. Uh, for the ones that purchased something, we appreciate it. Uh, we will have lots, hopefully lots and lots more stuff next week. We are still going through the room uh, that's in the back of the office. We also have some other stuff that we're going to price out. Some older books. Uh, getting ready for con time and stuff like that that we would be putting on. Remember, Tiffany is on tomorrow. I think she tries to get on online about 4 o'clock. Uh, she will do the weekly drawing. Uh, and uh, she will also be talking about the FOC. Books that are on FOC. The things that have caught our attention. Uh, anything that was on tonight's show that I didn't get to, which is about uh, half a box, or anything that did not sell will go up on an album uh, at about 3 o'clock. I think Dan is going to post what Tiffany didn't sell on Monday sometime around, uh, sometime between 10 and 12, I think. Um, you have to check a schedule. He always puts up the schedule. Uh, Tiffany and I will be working, I, I believe, this weekend, depending on how she feels, getting con prep ready, so we will be posted throughout on the DBS Collector page. As a reminder, if you have not joined the DBS Collector's page, go in and send a request. Uh, we will verify it and accept it. Uh, and the reason why I'm, I'm telling you to do that is last week, whenever we bought uh, the Giant Size X-Men 1 and the X-Men 94, the Hulk 180 and the 180, uh, I believe the Hulk 182. We put up three or four of those in the DBS Collectors Club an hour, hour to an hour and a half before we paste, posted it on the main page. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but we put it cheaper for the DBS Collectors people than we did on the regular page. We are going to be doing more of that. We have 
different stuff once we get time to be able to put that on. So keep your eye on that. Uh, Tiffany will be on the show next Monday. She has her stuff. She's already got it prepped. So she will be on next Monday. I'm hopefully I will be on next Thursday. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, if there's a book that you're looking for that you did not see tonight, send us a Facebook message or, or a website message, and uh, we will see if we can locate it for you. Otherwise, thanks for joining in. Have a great evening. Take care of one another. Be safe out there, and we will catch you next time. Thank you, guys.